Welcome back to part four of four of the shop tour with Kelvin Verrett of Urban Survival Gear. Now in this final episode, we take an even deeper dive into how we machine all the nitty gritty stuff, how we clean, how we organize so that we can continue to process parts for maximum efficiency. Let's get started. last year so we moved from there to here and then the next morning i moved my house so but congrats, you know everything the the, the, pro, the process was all dialed in i knew that's way more than one man could take on so that wasn't like a, a freak out or anything you know so but yeah four four uh, that was not a good year so i want to break my record i'm at okay. two right now so <laughs> um okay. little things okay so we have our rolling cart uh oh. ups so he rolls this he's setting up right now to do the second operation on the sliding carrier of our roto vice. So he's working in fusion right here. He can just work right here. He's working in the cell. Even he's not going to his office programming, walking. Oh, it didn't work. You Walk read back. my mind. I'm sorry, dude. You read, you just read my mind. I'm okay. like, wait a minute. He's not, how do you, are your machines wireless? Are they on a network or uh, is USB? No, you know what? I'm, I don't know with like the hackers and stuff. I've tried drip feed and some, and I've had to wear I'll drip you some code wirelessly yeah. and it will skip a line. It will skip a okay, section yeah. of code. All right. Chip again, what RF's going on in there? Yeah, yeah see that, that, that's, that's one thing. Um, yeah. We've, we've drip fed uh, an older machine. This, I mean, we pull out a USB, a blank USB. Yep. We plug it in, we load that file. Okay. There's only one file. Now, if we were pulling off a network or drip feeding or something like that, did we choose the right, I pr programmed it perfectly. Did we pick the right, number so there's an opportunity for error there that's yeah. lean term called pokey making things mistake proof so we don't we mistake proof it by just having a blank usb plug it in once it's moved next time we put it in just erases it so rolling cart that uh, is, uninterruptible that's power supply so he can plug it in it'll power it for like half an hour you know so if he's working power goes out he can keep working but or if he's going to go to another machine plug it in you know and it's mobile we program at the machine so, that's genius. Yeah. All right. That so, is genius. Um, yeah, that's how we that's how we roll. <laughs> All Terrible. Right. All right. Okay, mini mini yeah. mill. Yeah. Mini pallet system. So we just run jobs in there that require that. Um, what's that? What? Okay, glad you asked. So if you look on all the machines, actually this is a better example. Bingo! That's what I yes. 30 tool changer. Yes. If we have um, tool number one we get that gauge length we know what the diameter is we know it's an end mill we know it only works for aluminum that is going to be used in pocket or tool number one that's our tool number one okay um, and then that way we if we need to pull that this travels with the tool so we don't have to go do another setup we've got to get gauge length we don't need to like figure out oh it looked like quarter inch yeah but it says 187.5, you know? So this, every every yeah. tool is tagged in the shop. If it's not tagged, no one owns it. Go, if it's in a call, pull it, I can put in something else if I'm prototyping, you know? Um, and then we also standardize. So this is our standardized tool list right here for okay, yeah, all of our, yeah, so we're really not, first of all, we're not pulling tools out of at least these two machines. That makes all of our vacuum products, every slot is accounted for. Makes all our pallet uh, and, um, PPS and MPS bases, we don't we don't change these tools. These two machines are it set makes up sense. For that. I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, it just it prints. All it does it's a it's a big printer. It's just right. like exactly. Just dude, run the same part. I don't care. Yep. You're not even, doing anything different. Changing code. We use the same work offset. So this is our Pro Palette system base. Yep. And we go off the round pin that's right under here. That's G54 P1. And so we just pull the USB, <laughs> plug it in. <laughs> Wait Press a minute. start and oh, walk no, away. No, wait, 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 wait. You got one offset. Yeah. And you never have to like, you know, Heimer, gotta find a corner. Uh, we do that like... once. 
you know, we well, do it yeah. once. <laughs> once. Not once a day, not once a setup. Like if we once. move the base to clean it. Oh, of course, you gotta got find it again. Yeah, all our programs uh -huh. work from then on out. So we're not we're not touching off tools, we're not probing yeah. parts. So yeah. like I catch some flack online. This is the only machine that has a probe. All the others don't have probes. Ah, oh, you gotta have a probe, you're an idiot. Really? Okay, if you're we, running the same part, yeah, and your code is face, I mean, it's code yeah. based to go off of one position. Yep. And all your calibrations are coming out the same. Yeah. There's just no need. So I go, okay, I'm an idiot, but I saved five, ten, fifteen, my boy Brad 20, told me about twenty-five. Something different. <laughs> 25 my boy Brad told me about something similar a long time ago, and yeah, he was, okay. Yeah. yeah. I see, you're doing it, so, so he was right. We, I purchased machines on first value, and then a uh, uh, need for the process. So that's a process machine. This is a process machine. Um, this robot makes pallets. We make over 2,000 pallets a year. I don't want my guys touching pallets anymore. They just need to press start, roll up a cart, camera sees where it's at, it does all the loading and unloading, so. You said something, yeah. small. Mm -hmm. That machine is for that job. That process. That process. Yeah. That machine is for that process. Yeah. If you come out with something new, mm -hmm. chances are you're probably going to get another machine or see if there's room yeah. to be for a machine to be used for the... Yeah. Okay. So all those machines over there, those three mills, yeah. those are always changing. Those are not process machines. Right. These are. Now also, if you look down here, uh, well, this is starting to fill up. PPS tools, it used to stop right about here. And he's just handwritten things in. Once we say, okay, those are now going to be permanent tools, we'll reprint, relaminate this card. So this machine is almost totally filled with non, with tools we don't ever want to touch. How do you order tools? I'm guessing something similar to... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so um, like if we have, well, okay, here. Here's our mill setup cart. Oh, look at that, yeah. First of all, Kaizen foam, everything we need to set up mills. Perfect. We have our drills, all that stuff. Then here we have our kind of parts bin. So this, if he needs to order this end mill, he'll pull the card. That's what then, I wanted to know. Yeah. And then from there, he can just scan that. Again, scan in the barcode. This is the part I didn't have. Yeah. So we have our tooling Kanbans, our mini Kanbans, and then we have our full size, you know, uh, yep. Kanbans. So okay. he'll just scan that. And then our tooling supplier delivers twice a day. So within four hours of him scanning that, there should be something. Typically, if he hits it at 7 a.m., It'll be here on the 9 a.m. truck. So, yeah. So, scans it, pops up on a computer. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Yep. Yep. And then that card goes into the thing. When the delivery driver brings it in, Jerry will see, okay, this goes with this tooling card, hands it to John. John now, receiving it. is there, right? Yeah. Once something comes in, you immediately break down everything and you put it where it's supposed to go. Yeah. Immediately. Yeah. Because yeah. we 3S, we sweep, sort, standardize. Sweep, sweeping is just, we clean. Every morning we clean all the trash. We leave the shop dirty from the night before. Everyone just wants to go home, you know? Go home. We come back in the morning while machines are warming up. Now we're cleaning stuff up. When you clean stuff up and I put these calipers that were out, left out, and I put them in their Kaizen foam over there. Now when a guy says, hey, where are the, the eight inch calipers? Oh, I literally touched them two hours ago. They're in the Kaizen foam. Or I was using them at the grinder or over in assembly. Because it, it, you're, you're gonna forget where you put them, you know, last night at four or 3.30. Yep. So, um, so it familiarizes yourself with the area by sweeping. Sorting, if a, pl if a thing has a designated place, go put it in its place and then standardize. If you have something laying around that doesn't have a place, make a place for it. If not, it's excess inventory, it's probably trash and it would have been taken care of in the first step, sweeping. So um, yeah, so that's that's why we um, 3s every morning, and we standardize. So okay, this is um, our coolant cart. Okay. So typically, you'll order a five gallon. If you're a big enough company, you get a yeah. 55 gallon. Yep. Yep. And then you fill up a bucket of water, and then you pump out coolant. You check it with a refractometer. You pump it into buckets, and you walk over with a couple buckets. It's a fireman carry, dude. Yeah, it's just like, go. come on, man. You're spilling and sloshing all over the floor. Yep. Yeah, and, and then you're, you're dumping them. You're mopping up the mess where you slosh. Yep. Come back yep. yeah, three or four times. Yep. So what we've done is we've standardized where we take this cart. It's got a 50-foot or 100-foot hose. I think it's 50-foot. Enough to reach all the machine. Gotcha. And we just throw it down on the floor, roll it to the machine. We set our concentration level here, pump it in. We might, we might pump it into a cup or a little thing just to 
Mr. check Rocky. first, make sure this is accurate, and then just run when it's done and the machine says it's up, filled off, turn it off, roll it back. And so what we eliminated is we eliminated filling buckets with water, yep. filling them. Now, now the buckets have different concentration. That's, that's a, a defect, lean waste. And we just know it works and roll it back. We also didn't have any defects by things that we have to uh, clean up spills because we're not carrying buckets. Yeah, yeah. So that's over processing. We shouldn't be on our hands and knees soaking up spills. So now some people would say, well, these machines have autofill. I'm just not to the point to where I want to walk away from an autofill device over the weekend. And especially oh, you remember the earthquake we had a few yeah, weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happens if one of those like things cracks and I walk in, that there's two inches of water. Good. So that's, that's yeah. a, it, this is fine. It takes seconds. We have control over it, whatever. It's, it's simple. So everyone understands that. So. All right, man. Um, my mind's about to explode. <laughs> <laughs> real, real talk. My, my. It's a lot to hey, take man, in. I would love to sit here for a week and okay. just holler at you and just get all this, man. Uh -huh. But I got to go back and make these pins. Yeah. And I think I got enough, but I got you in the bat phone, right? Yeah, that's right. Anytime, all right, look, um, I'm going to go sit in the car for about 15 minutes and like digest <laughs> all this. So I'm going to sure. roll, bounce back to the shop. Okay. So thank you, man. man thanks thank for you. stopping by, bro. Thank you. <laughs> and look, um, I'm going to see y'all later. Buy some pins. Please buy some pins. And buy a lot of pallets. I, matter of fact, I got to buy like 10 from you, all right? Dude, we got plenty in stock. I see that. Yeah. <laughs> and system, all right? <laughs> but I'm going to go back to the shop. I'm going to catch y'all later. All right. See you. See you, bro. Well, that wraps this series. But if you liked what you saw, we got three playlists that you might be interested in. The first one would be our robot series, how we automate things. The next thing would be our moving series, how we set up the company. And finally, our Pearson Work Holding Fix Your Friday, where we show you the best tips and tricks to maximize production with our products. So until next time, go innovate your production.